Okay, hi everybody. This is the diploma review, uh, and we're just looking through some of the, the material in the trig chapter. This is on identities. What I got to do here, first of all, is just identify the non-permissibles of this of this idea, uh, this trig expression here. Now, non-permissibles comes pr uh, primarily from the denominator, and that we cannot allow the denominator to go to zero. So in this case here, I cannot allow the expression one minus cosine of x to equal zero, which means I cannot allow the cosine of x to equal one. So I just got to think about where that happens, okay? And when you when you think about that um, around the circle here, remember uh, how we define cosine. Cosine is equal to the x value over the r. The only place that that actually happens is at he, right here at zero, okay? Zero degrees, and then for every multiple beyond that. So I cannot allow x to equal z, uh, zero plus multiples of 360, where n is an element of the integers. Now, I could have written that a little differently. I really could have just said, I can't let uh, x equal n times 360. But sometimes it helps just to have that, essentially that placeholder in the expression right there. Now, it would be very tempting to stop right here and say that that's it. However, this expression has a tangent in it, OK? Tangent actually has its own denominator. And in fact, if you see a tangent, a cotangent, a cosecant, or a secant in an expression, you have to consider those, those factors as well because they each carry with them their own set of restrictions. Tangent is sine over cosine, so it's got a cosine in the, its own denominator. So what that means is I also cannot allow cosine to go to zero. And, and I think about that, well, where does cosine go to zero? Well, cosine is related to the x coordinate. It's x over r. And x goes to zero here and here at basically 90 degrees and 270 degrees. Now, because those differ by 180, okay, one side and the other, what I can state here is that x is not allowed to equal 90 degrees plus n times 180 degrees, where n is an element of the integers. I don't need to list them both out. I don't need to say 90 and 270 plus n times 360, although I could. I totally could. But here, because 90 and 270 both differ by 180 degrees, uh, I just need to list one, make my uh, period here a little shorter, okay, half of what it would normally be, and that will cover both of those quite nicely. And so these are the two sets of restrictions that I need to list.